Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to establish a connection to the new pluggable database we created in our previous lesson. Remember, we created a pluggable database known as PDB Lab. So we're going to look at how to establish a connection. Assuming you are the admin user that was created, let's see how you can connect both locally and from the client side. So the first thing I want to do is to go to the location where I have my tnsnames.ora file. Okay, so I'll go to other locations, computer, u01, app, oracle, product, 19, db1, and then look for a folder called network, and then open admin, and then come to tnsnames.ora, and open this file with a text editor. Now, the first thing I want to do is to take this, okay, copy, and then come here, and paste it. Now, I'm going to edit this to PDB lab. And then I'm also going to edit this to PDB lab.com. Okay. And then I'll save. So I've updated the TNS names.ora file in my database host server. Now, since I'm also going to be connecting from the client side, I'll go to my hosting PC. Remember, we have a copy of the tnsname.ora file there as well. So I'm going to do the same so I don't face any issue when I try to connect from the SQL developer. Okay, so the same thing I did, I'm going to take this whole thing, copy. come here, paste it, and then edit this. To be PDB lab, and then edit this one. To PDB lab dot com. Okay. And then I'll save. So first things first. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to execute the following command. It says connect PDB lab admin slash ebony123 at PDB lab. You can see it's connected without any issues. Okay. So let's try to connect from the client side. Let's try to open our SQL developer. Okay, so we are here. I'll try to establish a new connection. So I'll click this plus sign. Name is PDB Lab Admin. Username is PDB Lab Admin. And then the password is Ebony123. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to connect using the TNS names, okay. You can see PDB lab. If I say test connection, you can see it's success. So the connection will be successful if I try to connect using the client style. So let me connect. Wow, you can see I'm connected to the database. So guys, this is how you are able to establish a connection to your newly created pluggable database. I hope this video was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.